So you just bought your brand new iPhone 11 or 11 Pro. Now it's time to dig in and see what features and settings you can tweak to get the most out of your phone. Here's the 11 key settings to change on your brand new iPhone 11 or 11 Pro. Keep in mind that a lot of these might work on older iPhones which are upgraded to iOS 13 as a lot of these are iOS 13 specific. The first setting you should change is dark mode, which adds a long anticipated feature to darken the screen and save a little bit of battery life as well as changing the aesthetic a little bit too. Simply head into settings, display and brightness, and choose between light or your dark mode. This will change your background in certain instances, as well as certain apps that are compatible, such as Twitter, which can change along with your system theme as well. Notifications are an integral part of your smartphone experience, so you're definitely going to want to customize the way that you interact with them and how you receive them. Head into settings, notifications, and you can choose to show previews for all of them, when unlocked, never, or always, or go app by app and choose between lock screen options, the notification center, banners, sounds, and badges, as well as choose whether the previews show automatically on the lock screen or not. With iOS 13, now you can choose how other iOS devices see your contact info when you message them. Tap into settings, scroll down to messages, and choose share name and photo, where you can configure your name, your picture, between memojis or your own pictures, and choose to toggle on name and photo sharing for contacts only or have it always ask. And that'll give whoever you're talking to the option to use your name or not. You can share it, but it's up to them whether they accept it. One of the greatest advantages that the iPhone has is the ability to communicate through your phone through other Apple devices like your Mac or your iPad. If you don't have this enabled already, you definitely ought to. Head to settings, go to phone, and choose calls on other devices. From here, you can toggle on which devices you'd like to be able to receive phone calls on, or if you'd like to receive messages, head to settings, head to messages, go to text message forwarding, and choose which devices you'd like to receive or send text messages from. Robocalls and spam text messages are a scourge right now, and Apple's added some useful features to prevent these. If you choose to enable this for unknown phone callers, then you won't actually receive a notification when a phone call comes in. Instead, you'll only receive a recent call as well as a voicemail if they leave one. If you choose to do this with text messages as well, a similar thing will happen where if you go into your messages, you'll have contacts and then unknown senders, which as you can see, are unknown. If you want to control this with phone calls, tap into settings, phone, and silence unknown callers. Or if you'd like to do this with messages, head into settings, messages, scroll down to filter unknown senders. You may not realize this, but by default, if you receive an audio message on iMessage, it's going to expire in only two minutes. If you want to turn off this inane expiration time, head into settings, messages, all the way at the bottom, audio messages, expire, and choose after two minutes or never. Your only two options for some reason. Privacy was another big push in iOS 13, which is why Apple added a feature which allows you to make apps ask for your location every time it's needed. For better control over which applications can access your location and when, head into settings, under privacy, go to location services, and you can select by each app when and how they can access your location. You can always choose to ask next time, always, never, or only while using the app. Whether you're a fan of shooting videos with that smooth 60 frames per second motion, or like the more filmic 24 frames per second, Apple's got you covered. To configure your filming speeds, head into settings, camera, and then choose record video, where you can choose from 720p to 1080, and then you have three options at 4K at 24 frames per second to give you that filmic look, 30 frames per second to give you the more average look that you'll see on most videos, and then that super smooth 60 frames per second at 4K. As an extra security precaution, you can set your iPhone to erase after 10 bad attempts on the lock screen. Just tap into settings, face ID and passcode, enter your passcode, and then all the way at the bottom, you'll have erase data, which allows you to set the option to have this erase after 10 bad attempts on your passcode. 
If you're not too worried about security, then you can turn off the required attention feature on Face ID so that it can unlock it without having to look directly at your phone. To turn this off, head into settings, Face ID and passcode, enter your passcode, and then under attention, require attention for Face ID, which you can toggle on or off. By default, your iPhone is set up to save pictures and videos in a very high efficiency format. But if compatibility is more of a concern than storage, then you can always change that. Just head into settings, camera, and then tap into format, where you can choose the high efficiency, which will save you some storage on your phone, or most compatible, which will allow you to be able to import into a wider variety of programs and applications without any issues. So those are the first 11 key settings that you should change on your iPhone 11 as soon as you get it. Stay tuned for our tips and tricks on the iPhone 11 so you can master it further. Thanks so much for watching everybody. If you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out digitaltrends.com for more tech stories.